For today's free game review, I will be covering the game Guano. Now, I wanted to do a more in-depth review of the game, however, <laughs> there isn't much to really go into with this game. It's rather simple. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like there were some moments that could have been fleshed out some more. The game opens on a rather simple tutorial where it just covers all the basics of the game, all the different abilities that you will be able to do. It doesn't cover all of the abilities as those will come along later. They're sort of story relevant abilities that you gain as you progress through certain parts of the story. <laughs> You little nasty. So it does cover all of the basics though as far as the flying, the way to maneuver yourself in the sky, the buoys which are a system that it uses to sort of boost you through the air, how to essentially shit on people, and that's pretty much it. Now you may have noticed by now in the footage for the gameplay that I'm having a hard time flying around. This is because the game recommends the use of a controller. However, the Steam controller is the only controller that is compatible with this game. I do not own the Steam controller, I only have a PS4 controller. So you're gonna see me fly around with mouse and keyboard. Now the story starts with you being introduced to your uncle, or a delusional bird that believes you to be his nephew and introduces himself as your uncle. He does mention that you, while looking sort of similar to his nephew, are missing a very key feature. That feature being a mustache. Me, Austin. It was me all along, Austin. During his introduction, he explains to you that his main plan is to essentially get rid of the humans and that they require you, being one of their so-called grandmasters, to accomplish this mission. Now after you're done talking to your uncle, the game pretty much just lets you go around and explore whatever elements you want. All major locations on the island are presented to you immediately. While not everything is entirely accessible, you are still allowed to look through the entire map and see different things and even collect some of the collectibles along the way. What I appreciate about this game is that it allows you to explore the map freely without forcing you to necessarily follow the quest lines. Another selling point for the game would definitely be the art. I think the bright colors and the style that they chose really build the atmosphere for the game. The story also worked really well for the game being that it was just silly enough to work. Now obviously the game isn't perfect. A game about a seagull shitting on people at the beach is obviously not going to be winning game of the year. As you begin exploring the map you will start to notice that a lot of the side quests feel very repetitive. This is because a lot of the side quests are repetitive, some of them just being the same quest at a different location. Now while the quests are pretty enjoyable the first time, there's only so many times that you can shit on Gary, race Kevin, or complete a buoy circuit. There was even a moment later on in the story where the game sort of just bugged out and the final race between me and the rival just sort of kept happening in the background while the main story stuff played out in the normal screen. This was very jarring to me as I don't know what exactly caused this as all I did was win the race against the rival. You little nasty. But I guess the real question is would I recommend it? Yeah, probably. I mean, after all, it is still a free game, so I can overlook a lot of the issues that it had. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with it, even in the moments where I couldn't exactly figure out what I was doing. If I had to give this game a score out of 10, number of the day is 7. If you made it all the way through to the end, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I would recommend you checking out the game on Steam. It is free currently. I don't know if there's any plans to add anything more to the game or if they're going to do any updates to it or add any more content, but it is currently up on Steam right now for free. The link will be in the description to the game. If you do end up downloading it, I hope you enjoy it. With that said, goodbye.